Hi, and welcome to the Dawn Show. Dawn Stenzel and Menti here. We are live and we are local. Today, some amazing weight loss stories for you. Now, if you have any questions or maybe you have a comment, the number to call 1-866-472-8868. I always want to hear your weight loss story or your struggle, what you're going through, because we're girlfriends here. We want to help each other out. And you know how it is. Most women, most of us have struggled with weight, uh, some trying to gain weight because they actually feel they may be too skinny. But most women, yes, are trying to lose that weight, especially over the age of 30 or after having kids. And you know my story, lost uh, almost 40 pounds about three and a half uh, years ago. Maybe it's going on four years at this point. And I've kept it off, which is Yahoo, that's the, that's the biggest part. But it's so hard and it's so easy to gain it and so hard to lose it, right? So I always wanna find women who are an inspiration and can share their weight loss success stories. So here to share her uh, success story, Natasha Lewis lost 65 pounds, is the, uh, yeah, take a victory <laughs> lap, is the author of uh, Weight Broke the Wagon. We wanna welcome you, Natasha. Thank you so much for having us. Uh, well, you're beautiful, you look oh, great. Thank you, thank you so much, <laughs> you're too kind. Uh, well, tell me, tell me first of all uh, what you, say to people when they know that you've gone through this journey and they say, but how did you do it? After the kids, forget about right. it. Just, just, just accept yourself. You know what, what I tell people is that I'm human. So there will be days where I um, allow myself to indulge a bit. But um, the one thing that I tell people is just to just keep plugging away and um, you know, what we did was we wrote this book, Weight Broke the Wagon, because we didn't wanna just focus on the, the weight that we carry on our thighs, but the inward baggage that we also, um, that gets us to that point, the emotional eating sometimes too. Yeah, absolutely, and we just showed the book cover, and obviously you're, there are three of you, yes. so we're gonna have the whole tree on, we're gonna add on and, and layer with our girlfriends here and have this conversation, but, so take me through, I mean, was it for me, I tried, I'm talking every fad diet mm -hmm. out there, right. And I, the one lemonade diet where you just have the fresh squeezed right. lemon with the cayenne pepper, uh, I don't know. Yeah. And my husband was like, I did not eat for 10 days. I drank this. Right. And my husband said, you have the most amazing self-control. And then of course I lost the weight and then I gained it back. Mm -hmm. It's cruel. Mm -hmm. It is. It's cruel. Right. Well, the thing is consistency. And so for me, I, I've tried all the fad diets as well. What I find for me works is moderation. So I don't, um, you know, just totally say, okay, I can't ever eat ice cream. Or for me, I have a weakness with cheese for some odd reason. That's me too. I love cheese. <laughs> um, I, I, I was cutting a few slices up last night. So what I've started doing is, um, you know, if someone will bring me a burger, for example, my husband you know, said, I have a burger for you. And I was like, why would you do that? But what I did was I took the bun off. So I ate the burger with the lettuce and tomatoes, a turkey burger. But or now when we go out, I'll get a, a veggie burger. So I'm trying to just make smart, small choices that are, um, you know, that are going to be beneficial to me in the long run. Yeah, because we don't want to be that one who's right. not fun. Exactly. Who's not going out to eat or right. anything I don't have like that kind that. of control yet. I do have friends like that. All they drink is smoothies. I would like to start delving into that a little bit more. I've eliminated the beef. I never ate pork. So I'm just trying to learn to cut back a little bit. What I also find is helpful for me because I have two smaller children as well as a daughter um, who's 11. But what I started doing is eating out of the children's bowls. So now I don't get a big plate like I would ordinarily. I just get my children's small little bowl and I'll eat the same type of portion that they would typically eat. So that helps. So I, I can still have the things that I enjoy, but just in smaller portions. Okay. So you didn't do anything like protein diet or all protein and veggies? I did or? that as well because okay. like I said, for me, I know what my, my triggers are bread. I got the bread thing yeah. and um, of course the sugar. Ice cream is like a big no-no. So again, you know, when I have a wonderful husband who thinks like, I'm going to just bring two gallons of ice cream home. He knows I love <laughs> cookies and cream. So I, what I did was the, he did that a couple of weeks ago and so it's still in the fridge so again I, I'll have some ice cream but just a smaller portion I got the children's bowl out I had my little ice cream and I was okay with that again moderation for me as I get a little older it's getting a little bit easier to be mature about those decisions that I make so for example I mean this is a holiday week mm -hmm. Hanukkah starts Wednesday night Thursday of course Thanksgiving <laughs> and here we are yes we're being cruel here we're yes. telling you about right. hey moderation yes. so what are you doing Thanksgiving morning to offset right. 
What I'm gonna do is I called one of my girlfriends because we know we have to have our girls, they'll have our backs. My daughter typically goes with me, but she'll be out of town. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm registering for a Reese. Um, I'm gonna do a 5K that morning. We don't typically celebrate on Thursday morning. We celebrate Saturday because all the family can come together at that point. So Thursday will be, won't be a cheat day for me. I'll just eat my normal, regular meal that I would typically eat. So I'll run on Thursday and then Saturday when we have our big feast. Um, you know, moderation. And then I can indulge a little, but not, you know, not overboard with it. And you and I are kind of on the same plane here because that's for me, I just, every day, I try to keep a basic right. count of, of calories and right. eat healthy mm -hmm. and eat in a whole foods kind of holistic right. way. Mm -hmm. But my doctor once told me that the difference between maintaining and gaining is about 300 calories a day. Yeah, I can see that because- That's not much. Yeah, it's not, with that soda. I, I don't drink soda. We don't have it in our house. It's weird how my kids will say, I want soda, and I'm like, soda with an R? But how do you <laughs> even know what that is? I've never purchased that. So we don't we don't drink soda, we drink you know water. We, you know, I'll put the, the um, enhancer sometime in the water or lemon, things like that. But some odd reason they know about soda, I guess when they go to school, but we don't do a lot of juices, all that sugar, those little, little teeny small calories, like you said, They'll accumulate, and next thing you know, you're like, wait a minute, why can I see, you know, my backside when I turn my head? <laughs> well, I want those pants buckle exactly, in, right? Exactly. So you talked about emotional eating, and we'll get into this more when, when your girlfriends mm -hmm. come on, your co-authors come on, but take me through one thing that you found um, through the emotional eating that you had to face. Well, this book actually is, was able to um, open up a lot of deep wounds that I didn't even know that I was facing. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm, I suffered a miscarriage when, when I had my, right before I had my, my first son. And I didn't realize how painful it was for me until um, just speaking with other women and um, just trying to open up, like I said, open up some of those deep wounds and it just pulled back some of the layers that I was, you know, hiding and denying. I kind of glaze over a lot of things. You know, I'm the, t I'm the positive person. Mm -hmm. Let's get it done. Let's get it off. Brush your shoulders off. Let's keep it moving. But you cannot run from your problems. Yeah. And so for me, um, you know, facing a miscarriage, even though I have three beautiful children, it's still a loss. And a lot of people don't always understand or identify like, well, you have three children, what's the big deal? Get over it. Right. Or, okay, you've been crying for three days now, it's time to move on. Um, how long is this gonna be? Are you suffering from depression? So we have to understand that, you know, dealing with sadness is normal. You have to process it or it will find you. So for me, um, this week I was going through a, a really tough time emotionally and I just told myself, do not run to the ice cream like you would typically in the past but just face for once in your life, stop running from yourself, stop doing this and doing that and running all over the place, trying to appease everyone, but just take time for you and don't turn to the ice cream. It, <laughs> it worked. <laughs> well, Natasha, we're gonna peel back those layers and we're gonna get real with okay. a lot of the emotions that come out, particularly during the holiday season and talk about issues that may be facing you. So call in if you're struggling with something or maybe you've overcome it and you wanna share as the Dawn Show continues.